Hey guys, Anthony here. In the studio with me is Valentina. Val, give him a shout out. She can't really talk yet. Uh, this is two months in to our fatherhood journey. I can't believe it's been two months. I thought I'd check in after our highly controversial one month recap. I just want to say I, I don't think I don't think parenting is easy. If that's the impression I gave, I, I it's hard, of course, certainly harder for the mother than the father in most cases. But also, you know, let's let's normalize it not being that bad. You know what I mean? Like, there's people out here just not even having kids because of because of what we're saying about how hard it is. So, you know, let's think about how we paint the picture. I think it's obviously really awesome, but also super hard. But yeah, we're two months in. I really can't believe time is is flying. Uh, everybody says to to just enjoy it as it comes because it it goes by so fast. But it's it's really true. The biggest update this month, other than the fact that she's almost doubled in size since birth, is that she started to smile. And so that's been really fun, you know, really, really melts the heart. So she's actually like acknowledging us. The first month is just, you know, you're just kind of, excuse me. You're okay. Oh, sorry for the interruption there, folks. I had to switch positions. I think we're in a better spot. So as I was saying, you know, she really starts to acknowledge you in the second month. Because at first, you're really just, the love is really just one way, you know, so you're just sort of get, getting, uh, you know, giving what you can. And she's just sort of, you know, I don't think she knows who I am. So it's nice that maybe she does now. She smiles when she sees me. That's been really fun. All right. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. She's smiling. It's cool. Um. Anyway, also, we're being warned about uh, f developing a flat head and flat spots on the head. I don't know anyone with a flat head, but I guess it is something that we should uh, be concerned with. I'm also not really sure how you would avoid it because she always lays on her back. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Starting to get some more sleep. You know, we got uh, we got lucky. She's a pretty good sleeper. We actually weren't swaddling her arms into the swaddle for a little while because she, she did not seem to like it. And then one night we're like, well, let's, let's try it. And then she slept for like seven hours. So. Joke on us. Um, balancing work and family obligations so far has been pretty smooth. I, I feel like I'm, you know, just going the entire day, right? Like any breaks in work, I, I try to relieve my wife from baby duty. So I'm constantly coming and going in and out of the office. By office, I mean bedroom. Um, but we, but we, we've been making it work. I get to go to the gym in the morning sometimes, which is great. And I, I don't think I'd be able to do that if I was at an office all day, you know, because then it would just be like I'd be gone all day. So, uh, those of you that don't work from home, God bless you. I don't know how you're doing it. My biggest advice at this stage is just to try to establish some routines and, and look for patterns. Like, not, you know, some of the initial chaos is gone from just the sleep deprivation and just not know what you're doing at all. And still really don't, but you do, you do learn a little bit in two months. And so I think just, you know, getting into a nighttime routine and a, a predictable bedtime has been really helpful. Naps are still a mystery at this point. They're just sort of, she's just sort of randomly napping for an, uh, an unclear amount of time uh, throughout the day. But then that first night stretch has become really predictable. So that's been great. I think other than that, you know, it's it just, it's been nice. It's been really cool to see her grow and, and already develop so much in two months. Um, I've tried to not take too much advice from everybody because everybody has an opinion about what they should be doing. And so, uh, you know, whether, whether they are parents of old, much older kids or people who are sort of, you know, in the midst of it with us. So I'm trying not to, you know, I don't know. I find advice to be a little bit, you know, grading sometimes or just, you know, a little bit patronizing. So I try not to take it personally. I know everyone's just trying to help, but everybody has an opinion on what, what, what you should do and what they did and what, what, what's best. So take it all in and, and, you know, make it your own. That's really it for us today. I think this little, this little one needs to be put down for a nap. So, um, please like, and subscribe. Please share with your friends. Thank you for listening. We'll check in in three months and see how it's going.